Hi everyone! The idea for today's video is actually from a comment that was posted in an earlier video where I showed you the four new watercolor pins that I have bought. So this is Monte Amiata Natural Siena, Organic Vermilion, Indentrum Blue and Thalo Green. One of these colors it's not as light fast compared to the other three so the color is actually Organic Vermilion. So today's topic will be on light fast and fugitive colors. Light fastness is basically a property that tells us how resistant a particular color is when it is exposed to light for a long period of time. So for example, this color made by Daniel Smith, Organic Vermilion, it has a light fastness rating of 2. Let me compare that to Indentrum Blue. This has a light fast rating of 1. And this light fastness system is called the ASTM. There are different systems when it comes to measuring light fast quality. ASTM is one of them. ASTM stands for American Standard Test Measure. This page, by the way, is from Wikipedia. Another system is called Blue Wool. Different systems, they measure the same thing, just that the numbers, they are represented differently. For example, if you measure temperature, you have Celsius and Fahrenheit, but they mean the same thing. So it's something like this. Some manufacturers use ASTM, some use blue wool, some use star ratings, so it can get a bit confusing. So let's take a look at ASTM first. So under ASTM, we have rating of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Under blue wool, we have 1 to 8, and the numbers, they are inversely proportional. So this can be a bit confusing. So under ASTM, which is actually the standard that most companies use, a rating of 1 is excellent. That means the color is going to last for a very long time, over 100 years. And a light fast rating of 2 is going to last from 50 to 100 years. That depends on the number of hours each day that the color is exposed to light. The light fast quality of organic pigments is not as good as inorganic ones and in this case this organic vermilion it has a light fast rating of 2 and from the ASTM scale it says that this is probably going to last for 50 to 100 years. Some manufacturers would list a light fast rating on the watercolor tube however if you really want to find out how light fast that particular paint is you should do your own testing because we do not know how the companies actually test their paints, the exact procedures, the criteria they use. So um, this could be just some sort of marketing thing. So it's best to always test how light fast they are, especially if you want to keep your work for a long time. Let's take a look at other brands of watercolor and see what type of system they use. This is Winston Newton. This has a light fast rating of 1. That is Burnt Sienna. This is Raw Umber. This is also light fast 1. They use the ASTM system. This is light fast 2. This is also Winsor & Newton, but there is no light fast rating on this. By the way, this is Scarlet Lake watercolor paint. If you look at Scarlet Lake oil paint, the light fast rating is actually different according to the manufacturer but you have to test it yourself as I mentioned before this is also Winston Newton this is the newer version the new design the light fast rating is here written in very tiny font it's one I have with me some Turner artist watercolor they use the star system so is three stars good or bad I'm not too sure. This is the list of colors included in this box set. Most of the colors they have a light fast rating of 3 stars and here it says that 3 stars is good, 1 star is not. This is Mimery Blue. Let's take a look at this. These two tubes here they have a rating of 2 stars each so is this considered good or not? 
you really have to check out their website to see what system they are using to test for the light fast quality because sometimes it can be a bit confusing to tell just by looking at the number of stars later on i'm going to teach you a very quick way to sort through all these systems this is kusak habe so they use a system of four stars or is it five stars here it says that this is very light fast and for yellow ochre it's usually very light fast so this should be five stars and this is four stars so this system uses five star turner uses three stars so it's a bit confusing this is sminker lemon yellow three stars cadmium yellow four and this is venantia red five stars so schminker uses the five star system as you can see different companies they use different system to represent the light fast rating winston newton daniel smith they use astm system some other companies they use the star system some use a three star system some use the five star system so it's a bit confusing so now i'm going to teach you a very quick way to get a sense of all this system the quick way to understanding the light fast system that the companies are using is to look for earth tones like umber any sort of umber raw umber burnt umber sienna it can be raw sienna burnt sienna look for black ivory black lamb black yellow ochre all of these earth tones they are very light fast they are very resistant to fading so when you see this rating on uh, umber like this it means that this is excellent so one is excellent this is sienna and the light fast rating is one so it means that one is excellent this is ivory black it uses a different system three stars here it means that three stars is excellent so if you have a tube that has only two stars it means that it's not as light fast as this this is yellow ochre from schminker it uses a five star system so this uses a three star system if you see five stars on any of the schmink paints it means that it's very light fast so this is a very quick way to get through the confusion of all this different light fast system so now when we look at this sienna with a light fast rating of one and compare that to organic vermilion with a light fast rating of two we know that this is not as light fast as this so the sienna is going to be more permanent and more resistant to fading and when you are at the art shop you should look for pins that have similar light fastness to earth tones so you can get the right paint correctly by the way this method is not totally foolproof this is raw sienna from my marie blue and here it has two stars but on the website this color is listed as having three stars so does this mean that this color here it is less light fast compared to the one on the website and if that is so i have five other colors in the set or with two stars does it mean that all the colors are not as light fast so what are some reasons as to why people want to choose colors that are not light fast colors that are fugitive and can fade in the future well if you are an artist who wants to use a very specific color that has no substitute for example if you need a very bright pink something like oprah rose or oprah pink there is no alternative you have to use this and unfortunately it happens to be not light fast so there's no way around it if you want to use it you have to choose this this is organic vermilion the color that is not as light fast compared to other colors this is transparent pyro orange the difference between these two reds is not very significant to me so i can easily substitute organic vermilion so there is an alternative but for some other colors especially those very bright colors or 
fluorescent colors, there is no substitute. If you are getting colors just for practice purposes, where the artworks are not meant to be archival, where you do not need to keep the artworks for a long time, there is no special need to go and source for light fast colors because it's just for practice purposes. Now some artists, they do not need their artworks to be archival. For example, street artists who create those 3D street art, they would just destroy their artwork at the end of the display. So those paints that they use, they do not need to be light fast. If you are painting some sort of wall mural where the mural has to be up for one month or two months, the paint that you use do not need to be light fast as well. I think the color should be able to stay for those two months. But if it's any longer, like more than a few months, then it's best to use light fast paints because you know those street signs or those signboards that are everywhere. Some of the paints that they use are actually not light fast and you can see very clearly how the colors can fade. If you are painting in sketchbooks like this, where the sketchbook is actually closed most of the time, the colors are not going to fade very easily because they are not exposed to light for long periods of time. However, if you are painting, doing a painting that you are meant to sell to someone, it is definitely recommended that you use light fast painting because the customer that buys your art, they want something permanent. You do not want to use colors that are going to fade. It's also bad for your reputation to sell paintings that are going to fade in color in the future. So for sketchbook purposes, it's all right. But for archival, you have to go for light fast paints. As mentioned earlier, you should not take the light fast rating that's printed on the labels of these watercolor tubes as the absolute indication as to how light fast they are, how resistant they are to fading. Personally, for me, I use my paints in sketchbooks, so light fast quality is, well, it's not that critical to me. However, I do want my work to be permanent, to be durable, to last for a very long time. So the paints that I choose, I always try to make sure that they are light fast. There is no difference in price between light fast versus non-light fast colors. And I do not use special colors like those fluorescent colors or very bright colors. All the colors that I use, I can easily find substitutes or alternatives that are light fast and resistant to fading. So that's all for today's video. I hope this video is informative and helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.